What's cracking, G's? This G is in Gamer. What was you thinking? Today's video is going to be me talking about a couple things and just doing a brief little update, blog type style. Now I'm saying, anyway, I know y'all like, yo, where the fuck is this guy at? What the freak is this guy doing? Well, right now, a friend of mine, he put out a project, and uh, the project is actually a CD, or should I say, like a mixtape slash album. But the reason that I'm talking about this is because it's a up, down, left, right video game sampled project. So uh, we were talking about it and uh, he wanted me to like do some visuals for him. So I decided that, yo, that might be a good thing to bring to the channel since we're talking about games and stuff like that. And um, I decided, why not? You know what I mean? Why not uh, put this on the channel? So uh, this is gonna be like some extra content. Um, I'm gonna do an interview with him so you get to find out who he is and if he's a nobody or not, he is uh, somebody. He has put out uh, popular music. You probably know the music. Um, I don't wanna give that away. I want you to come back and watch the video. So I just figured I'd drop this to let you guys know that if you're watching this, that means I'm on my way to an interview with uh, somebody interesting. And I'll be putting that on here because we'll be doing an interview with him, asking him what's his favorite console, you know, does he support the console war? Does he PC game? You know, does he still game at the moment? What's his favorite game? Things like that. Sorry that it got a little dark, but I'm in a tunnel right now and it's like that. But um, yeah, so we're going to be asking him all those questions. And now on to today's video, let's talk about some other stuff real quick. Um, I want to talk about Street Fighter 5 real fast, and I am literally on the highway doing this video, so I'm going to make this short. Um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know, right now, I've been looking at the Street Fighter 4 footage, and I've been looking at the, the, the Mortal Kombat footage, and I'm going to be real. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm a hardcore, diehard Street Fighter fan. I'm not really happy with the PS4 only version, but I'll accept it because it's on PC and I get to use my fight stick if I play on PC, which I have played Street Fighter 4 on PC. I have taken some scrubs to the Bizank and I'll continue to do that on PC. So that'll probably be my uh, platform for choice of Street Fighter 5. Now, with that being said though, I just want to put it out there that uh, as of right now, I know that the build that we're seeing is Street Fighter, but if you go to eventhubs.com right now, they have a footage of Street Fighter actually being played by some professionals like Daigo and uh, uh, Killer B. I believe they had a match. And I'm gonna be honest with you, right now, I'm not really feeling the way Street Fighter is coming off. It's coming off like Street Fighter 4.5. And I'm not feeling these games feeling like extensions of last generation. I want something new. I feel like if you're gonna create a new Street Fighter, make it new. Don't make it a uh, Street Fighter 4, but how it would be on a next generation platform. Cause that's what they're doing. And I'm getting tired of that. Now Mortal Kombat, for example, looks like a new game. That looks like a new Mortal Kombat. Doesn't look like Mortal Kombat 9.5. It looks like Mortal Kombat new. Doesn't look like um, DC Universe or none of that shit. It looks like a new Mortal Kombat. So I just wanted to make this video saying that I want you game developers to stop doing that. If you guys think Street Fighter 5 looks like a new IP, it looks fresh, let me know what you think. Do you agree with me or not? Because I personally do not like the way it's looking so far. I'm not gonna judge it based off this build though because this is like the first build. I know this game is gonna be, you know, it's gonna take a while to come out. But I'm actually surprised at how far along they have come with the game. But like I said, I wanna see where this is gonna go further. So with that being said, um, I just wanted to get my take on that. Now let's talk about GTA. <laughs> oh, let's talk about that. Uh, GTA Heights. First of all, Rockstar, let me keep it a buck with you guys. Really, I right, hand back on the steroid. Let me keep it a buck with you guys. Um, we don't care about the heights, man. I mean, at this point, you guys are the boy that cried wolf. I the only way I'm gonna believe anything Rockstar tells me about GTA is if I see the wolf with little Timmy's pants hanging out of his mouth. And I'm like, oh shit, the wolf actually ate that motherfucker. He was telling the truth that one time. Because you guys seem to just, I don't know, you're losing credibility in my book. Um, I'm a huge GTA fan, and me personally, I'll believe Heist will be out March 10th when I see it. And secondly, um, the PC delay was not a surprise. I told my friends and my cousin that it was gonna get delayed, and I was right, I got some money to collect. Cause I told them, I said, oh, that shit gonna get delayed again. 
and uh, it did. So I'm really just at this point just wanting to say, you know, I'll believe anything Rockstar says after it's actually come to fruition. How you gonna have a game two years old that you said we were gonna get heights two years ago in 2013 and it's 2015 and you're still saying that we're gonna get heights. So uh, at this point, man, screw your damn heights and I'll believe anything you say after I see it, okay? Half I see, half I hear. So I wanted to talk about those things real quick and I also wanted to let you guys know, follow me on Twitter. I'm about to bust out a little contest real quick on Twitter. Check this out. If you are watching this video and you follow me on Twitter, the first person to tweet me in a DM or at me who is my um a subscriber, you got to be a subscriber though. If you hit me on Twitter right now, I, you have to be in the U.S. because apparently uh, some of the codes are not working outside of the U.S.A. That was the issue here. If you are in the U.S. and you're a subscriber to my channel, you have a PS4 and you want The Last of Us Remastered, hit me up right now. Right now, hit me up. The first person to see this video and follow me and hit me up. Whoever's following me right now, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up. I'm going to send you the code. You will have The Last of Us Remastered. I think I'm going to start doing the giveaways this way because it's kind of more fun to tell you to see this video and hit me up because some people actually do not hit me up right away. Well, you know, my channel, you guys, like, y'all move like, you know, I'll get hit up three days from now talking about, yo, man, can I get that code? You know, it's funny how that works. But anyway, hit me up right now on Twitter, one of my subscribers who want The Last of Us Remastered, and I will DM you the code right now. It's your boy, Jimmy B. Gaming. Um, I'm stuck in traffic again. I don't want people looking at me like I'm crazy because I am literally in the middle of the highway. Uh, I think it's a little bit unsafe. I'm going to get off this right now and I'm out of here. I'll give you a little pan around so y'all can see real quick. See? This is where I'm at right now. It's snowing and shit. Stuck in traffic. I'm out of here, guys. Later.